welcome back or we're gonna look at the um uh, the next topic which is know your risks list potential emergencies and ranking them in regards to importance and likelihood is essential to knowing what to do and what resources to invest there is no need to invest dollars in hurricane planning if your facility is not near a coastal area nor should you spend a lot of time for earthquake planning if your facility is not near any area normally susceptible to earthquakes or with history of seismic activity that doesn't mean that you don't totally know these risks just that you don't dwell on detailed response tasks the risk or the risk assessment should be based on an all hazards approach for those hazards affecting the facility a risk matrix can help identify the areas where an investment is most needed using this type of matrix the facility or security manager can um, categorize each risk or um, uh, emergency based on the impact it would have if it occurred and on the likelihood of the event happening in your area as an example our uh, a critical emergency may be an earthquake in San Francisco which would have a high impact on the area and a high likelihood of occurring on the other hand of the spectrum the risk of the traffic light at the entrance of your facility are uh, malfunctioning and causing a traffic backup would have a low likelihood of occurring although the latter even event does require the use of manpower and other resources planning to resolve the situation is simple using a risk matrix to evaluate all the potential emergencies your facility may face will give you uh, a head start on many things including being prepared to meet the management in such a um, situation or, or in support of any funding requests for emergency preparedness or uh, go and click on the next uh, click on the next lesson or uh, if you're done you've understood click on course complete uh, if you're not you can still go back and then uh, uh, listen to the course again uh, or click on next lesson then we're gonna have to look at on the next lesson how to build a team building a team